In addition to saving lives in documented incidences of firefighter with Clinton Fire Department in Iowa, our next award recipient has volunteered as a first responder and training officer with the Charlotte Volunteer Fire Department in his hometown. An example of his bravery occurred during a house fire on May 23, 2019. Entering a window of a burning home, the fire department lieutenant found an unresponsive resident lying on the floor. Despite significant flames, our award winner and his fellow members of his team were able to rescue the victim who would be hospitalized and ultimately survive his injuries. He has been a member of the CDF since 2009 and holds an associate's degree in fire science with Kirkwood Community College. Please welcome our 2022 National Firefighter of the Year, Lieutenant Ryan Winkler. This is to certify that the American Legion has bestowed the title of National Firefighter of the Year upon Ryan T. Winkler for outstanding selfless service over and above normal duties to community service and professional achievement, thereby exemplifying the meaning of the phrase, America's bravest. You reflect great credit upon yourself, the Clinton Fire Department, and firefighters everywhere. Thank you to the American Legion for honoring me with this award. It is difficult for firefighters to accept awards as individuals, and this is no different. For the two lives that were saved in the nomination letter submitted were not saved by me alone and could not have been saved by me alone. All my life, I have been part of various teams, whether it was in football, wrestling, track, or Boy Scouts. And when I was a young man, I knew I wanted to be a part of a team, and the fire service is a passionate team to, passionate team to be a part of. The credit for this award goes to the teams that I was a part of, and those in particular, on those particular days, the members include Riley Bly, Jordan Moore, Ryan Pryor, Alex Selnaw, Ben Johnson, and Austin Peterson. Without any of them, without any of the team members working together to achieve a common goal, I would not be standing here to receive this award, and they deserve all of the credit. I would like to thank the Charlotte Fire Department. Charlotte is where I was given the opportunity to start my career in the fire service as a junior member, um, and currently is where I live in a town of 350 people. When I started 18 years ago, I would never have thought a kid from a small town could win an award like this, the National Firefighter of the Year. Charlotte Fire Department provided me with a great start in this career and has provided for many others as well. Next, I'd like to thank the City of Clinton Fire Department. 13 years ago, they provided me with an opportunity as a full-time paid firefighter, literally a dream come true. When I started, it was a pretty rough go and seemed like I failed at every aspect in the job almost every day. Looking back, my favorite saying is to say, I don't, I like to say, I don't mind learning things the hard way, I just wish it wasn't every time. But all of my failures I've learned from and grew into a better firefighter. The Clinton Fire Department is a great place to work and I have loved it every day. I would like, also like to give a shout out to my shift, the C shift, the fire dogs, it's a privilege and an honor to serve you as a lieutenant on the sea shift. I know going into any situation with you guys, we will always come out accomplishing the goal of our, because of our teamwork. The last team I'm honored to be a part of is the team that has been with me since the beginning and is the team that is here today, my family out in the front row. To all of my parents, you have been here supporting me, encouraging me, to push myself to be the best possible version of myself that I could be. Supporting the decision to enter the fire service, I'm not sure my mother knows what I actually do or how dangerous it is, and I'm not sure she really wants to know. And to my children, Brayden, you are a fearless little boy with a huge personality, and no matter how long of a day I had at work, I light up when I hear you yelling, Daddy, as I walk through the door and hear your feet scurrying across the floor to give me a big hug. Ruth, you may only be two weeks old, but your dad loves you more than you could ever imagine. I can't wait to see the kind of daughter you grow up to be. You may keep us awake at night right now, but I love every minute of it, and thank you for coming into our world. 
and finally and most importantly to my wife, Callie. We have been through a lot in almost 10 years together as a couple, from leukemia, melanoma, infertility, and going through a line of duty death. January 5th, 2019 changed our lives forever. We lost Lieutenant Eric Cosette, one of my close friends, and a member of both Charlotte and Clinton Fire Department. The spouses of the members of both departments didn't receive enough credit for what they went through in 2019. I myself battled mental health issues using alcohol as a coping mechanism, and this was po post-traumatic stress. Callie was always there supporting me and letting me fight the battle the way I needed to. You could say she was the bumpers on a bowling alley, just keeping me out of the gutter and moving forward. She was there on the other end to help lift me up and transition into post-traumatic growth. I love you very much, and I certainly would not be here without your unwavering support. I may be, I may be the one receiving this award, the American Legion 2022 National Firefighter of the Year, but the award would not be possible without the teams mentioned above. And in all of the credit goes to every single one of those team members mentioned. Thank you. Our law enforcement officer of the year is unable to be with us. We would like to acknowledge his accomplishments. He is a sheriff with more than 35 years experience, a graduate of the University of Richmond and the FBI's National Academy. He was recognized by Virginia Governor Bob McDonald and Terry McAuliffe for his service and expertise. He was appointed to the governor's task force on prescription drug and heroin abuse, as well as the governor's board of juvenile justice. In 2020, he was selected as the American Legion Department of Virginia Law Enforcement Officer of the Year. Our National Law Enforcement of the Year is Sheriff David R. Hines, and we thank him for his service. <clears throat> 